Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durbin with my daughter in the faith, Debbie Taylor, and we are just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's word once again. Luke 1, 37 says, With God, nothing shall be impossible. And it's wonderful Wednesday, November 3rd. And how are you doing today, Debbie? I'm doing wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> my uh, youngest sister's name is Debbie. Oh. And, and uh, we called her, and that's why sometimes I call you Deborah. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you all call her that? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. And and Dad nicknamed her Bobber. <laughs> hey, Bobber. <laughs> I don't know where that come from. But Easy she was, to say. <laughs> she was born. She was born with, with a rheumatic fever. Huh. And uh, she was very frail. Uh, so uh, she would always. Uh, get light duty on all the chores made me mad, right? Mm -hmm. But she was tough. <laughs> I'd say. She took me one time, slammed me in the refrigerator, broke out all the eggs and everything, oh all the my. shells on the inside. Uh -oh. Right. <laughs> Mom called us in there. They were, Mom and Dad were in the, in, his dad was home too. Oh, we were no. fighting over the, who's doing dishes and all that, you know, and, and, uh, uh, mom said, what's going on there? And my head, boy, I mean, it was all, she slammed me. And uh, <laughs> uh, she called us in there and, and mom said, Debbie, did you do that? She said, yeah, I did it. <laughs> and, Amen. And, and, and my mom said, Philip, go out to, to the wood pile. You know the wood pile, country mm -hmm. girl. Wood pile and get, get me a, a stick. Oh no. Gonna, gonna whoop Debbie. I went out there and got a club. <laughs> I still hurt. My head's still hurt, and I'm mad. I bring that in, and my mom <laughs> says, you expect me to whoop your sister with that? I said, yeah. She whooped me with it. Did she really? She <laughs> whooped me with that thing for bringing in. <laughs> but but uh, me, me, me and Debbie, she's the one that uh, the operation went bad here just a couple weeks ago oh, okay. in, in, in my Older sister called, mm -hmm. you know, and we interceded yeah. and everything yeah. turned around. She's she's a sweetheart. But anyways, her name was Deborah. Deborah. That's my name too, but <laughs> okay. Deborah is De how my De mom pronounced yeah, it. Yeah, right, Deborah. right, right. We, us us yeah. kids would call her that. Yeah. 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 All right. It's, uh, oh, this is Alberta today. All November right. November 3rd. This will be great. All right. Um, the scripture verse is from Proverbs 11, verse 9. Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Do you need to be delivered from anything in your life today? Now, wait a minute, Sister Alberta. I'm not in any bondage to sin in my life. Why would I need deliverance? Sin isn't the only thing from which Christians need to be delivered. What about debt? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to be free from those big car payments every month? What about those credit card payments, even mortgage payments? It's such a blessing to be debt-free. The Bible says, Oh, no man anything but to love him, Romans 13, 8. It may not be sin, but debt will hold you back from the blessings. The Bible also says, God's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, Hosea 4, 4 6. Poverty, sickness, and anger are all things from which you can be delivered if you will get into the book of knowledge, the Bible. So awake to righteousness and start living in freedom today. Mm -mm -mm. I remember uh, that car payment, Debbie. Two hundred thirty-four dollars and twelve cents every month. Every month, and it we struggled to make it. Mm -hmm. Struggled to make it, and uh, we we're working that truth mm -hmm. of owe no man anything yeah. but to love. But when we added righteousness with that, yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. It was more than just, I see we can be debt free. Yeah. That my righteous new man mm -hmm. had that right. Right. Even though I'd made goofy decisions. Yeah. Mess and got myself mm -hmm. in a mess. Yeah. Credit cards, IRS, camper payment, car payment. And, and uh, Alberta actually had a hold of that before I did mm -hmm. and she's trying to get me to see it and I couldn't see it I still had a Babylonian mindset 
-hmm. And uh, what happened was we were debt free uh, before we went to uh, the Marshall Islands. And uh, when we come back, we needed a vehicle because we'd given all of ours away. Mm -hmm. We needed a place to stay. We didn't have no place to stay. And a lady in uh, our church gave me a set of tapes by a Word of Faith guy. If I mentioned his name, everybody would know who he is. Mm -hmm. And I sat down. It was a four four tape series, and I listened to him talk about it. he he borrow anything he can, and believe God to get out of debt. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh my goodness, I've been doing this all wrong. I thought I thought you could just be debt free and get things, and. Boom, I took us right into debt. Mm -hmm. I took us into debt with a car, took us in debt with a camper, took us in debt uh, allowing uh, church things to be put on our credit cards, blah, 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 blah. Next thing I know, IRS after us, all this stuff. And Alberta's like, the Bible says, mm -hmm. oh, no man, anything but to love him. Yeah. And I would bend and twist that thing around to where uh, she couldn't. she couldn't argue it. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 I'm and I'm thinking, you know, all this, and then one day the Lord said to me, "Why would I have you give everything away?" Because we did mm -hmm. all of our vehicles, our farm, mm -hmm. all of our money, all of our furniture, all the way down to our pets. Mm -hmm. Why would I have you give everything away, mm -hmm. and then you turn to the world system for supply? Debbie, I, I tell you, that day when that was revealed to me, when that when I when I found out how wrong I had been, yeah. to have started out debt free and then, and then get in debt, mm -hmm. I, f I felt like a failure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I felt like uh, I'd let God down. I felt like I let Alberta down. Uh, everybody. Yeah. And that's when the Lord, I went to God and I said, God, I've let you down. That's when he told me, you're not holding me up. Amen. Uh, yeah, I pulled all things by the word. Yeah. Power. Yeah. I said, okay, God, get me out of this. And he used righteousness. Because I was beating myself up. Yeah. And uh, you've heard this story numerous times. We were in the camper. I'm doing sit-ups and push-ups. I'm right there. Alberta's not in the camper. I don't know where she was. Maybe she was at Pastor Liz's house. I don't know. But uh, the Lord said, what's wrong with you? I said, eh, nothing wrong. I, I was, everything was screaming. Yeah. And he said this, Philip, I'll wipe every bit of it out today. And when he said that, I knew there was more to it than that. Mm -hmm. I said, you'll wipe it all out today? He said, yep. All you have to do is say, do it, and I'll do it. What's the catch? You'll have to learn it all over again. Yeah. That's the miracle being done for you instead of, him. instead of the miracle being yeah. done in you. Yeah. Debbie, it the pressure was so great. Right. I I thought just okay, let's get let's get rid of it and I'll yeah. learn it later. Yeah. And I thought, no. I remember uh when I first came in, you know, here and came into the things of God and ended up at another church, a sister church, but regardless. Um, I really didn't know about tithing, but I started hearing tithing, so I made the decision, hey, I'm going to tithe. I'm a single mom, making 11 bucks an hour, and um, I just, you know, in a couple years out of a divorce, so I had a car payment, I had credit cards, um, braces, um, there were several things of debt that I owed, but in my heart, I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of this. Mm. And without hearing the teaching of being debt-free, mm. right? 
So I go on my journey and I mean, I'll just start. God gave me wisdom and, and next thing you know, I'm out of debt. Well, I wasn't taught that uh, you could believe God for a house. <laughs> you know, you could believe God for a car. So I went right to the world system and right back in. bought a house, just full blown. It was okay. I mean, it's okay to get a house and a car because you need it. How else would you get it? Hello. That's what they all say. Exactly. And so I did and I used my faith, but God knew that the revelation of debt free hadn't come to me yet. Mm -hmm. But even though my mom and dad, they paid cash for everything. Mm -hmm. So it was easy for me to do that. Mm -hmm. And I realized I was starting my life over. You know, it's me, my daughter, and I'm on fire for God. So I'm, you know, all in. And um, so I found the plans I wanted and, and the property and just, you know, had favor with the builders and the brick people and everything. Use my faith. Mm -hmm. God was there. He met me there. Mm -hmm. And then God interrupted all that one day when you came and you taught I'm bankrupting the devil mm -hmm. and coming out of the world system. And I'm sitting back there like, because really I hadn't had the house that long. And I had it built just personally, you know, like the lower level and an upper level. I had it all for my daughter, like the whole upper level. Uh, but anyway, and you know, at the end of the service, you're like, you know, bring up the baskets. You know, you got to sow into this. We're bankrupting the devil. We're coming out of the world system. Literally, Pastor, I was shaking when I sowed my offering because I, I knew it was right. Righteousness. I knew it was right, even though my it hadn't caught up with my mind yet. Oh, boy, yeah. But it, it bore witness with my spirit. And um, God knew that Ed would be coming soon. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I and um, so anyway, long story short, I go up there, I sow my seed, and um, I just put my house on the market. Hmm. And it took a while to sell at that time, but it did. Mm -hmm. It sold. And um, I was just believing God, you know, for the right seller. And um, really, I was the, my daughter never lived there. So I was the only one that ever lived there. It was perfect. It was beautiful. And um, so... Um, I got the revelation of being debt free. So as I was believing for a spouse, I would not have married Ed if he had had any debt at all. Mm -hmm. And um, and Ed comes into my life in between this before my house sells. And um, when God put us together, I said, "Are you in debt?" And he was like, "Yeah." And I I said, "How much?" Because I do in my heart, we in not tying the knot if there's any kind of debt at all. Yeah, because you'd be in debt. Yeah. And I wanted to marry someone equally yoked. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyway, he told me. And um, God said, I want you to pay it off. From the house? No. Just from accumulation. Okay. And um, it was, I don't know, twenty one, twenty two thousand $22,000 or mm -hmm. something like that. And um, God said, I want you to pay it off. And mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. because this was all new for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was easy to receive because my parents always paid cash for almost everything they bought, tractors, vehicles, or whatever. And um, so I went and told my husband, told, well, he wasn't my husband yet, but I was like, okay. I said, I feel like I'm supposed to pay off your debt. And he was like, you got to give me a word, you know? And um, so I was like, okay. I said, God, I said, I know you're telling me to do this. And, um, you know, Ed needs a word, and that's okay. Realize this is over 20 years ago. Sure. And God gave me that verse in Isaiah that said, Your prophets are not to be laid up, um, not to be laid up, but given to the, the priest. Mm -hmm. And um, so I went to Ed, and I was like, Here's the verse. And it was in Isaiah. And he was like, okay. Mm. So Ed and I started, you know, when we got married, we were totally debt free. Mm -hmm. But I remember the moment that I made that decision. Because for me, it, to go back in debt would be sin. Because God made that real. Well, check this out. Your righteous new man is mm -hmm. debt free. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not talking about finances. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about debt free from sin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so God wants to equally yoke us financially yeah. and with resources mm -hmm. with what's already accomplished within us. Yeah. And so if the devil can make somebody think that they're just a sinner saved by grace or so on and so forth, that, that keeps them in a debt mentality. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But your righteous new man, all the sin, the wages mm -hmm. of sin is death. death. So when all the debt, Jesus took that debt, mm -hmm. nailed it through the cross, yes. right? So when we understand that within us, we are debt free, mm -hmm. sin no, has no longer dominion. Yeah. Then we take that righteous debt free understanding from sin. Yeah. You'll find out that lack mm -hmm. and that borrowing system yes. all evolved yeah. From sin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how it all came into existence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so God wants us living debt free. Mm -hmm. He wants us living in abundance. Yes. Right? Yes. And uh, so Alberta got a hold of this mm -hmm. uh, years ago. And when I took us into debt, uh, she... Uh, she took it as out of her own mouth. I feel like you committed adultery. Mm -hmm. Now, before we got married, I committed adultery. I mean, before before we were saved yeah. and we're married, I committed adultery, yeah. right? But when we got born again, to this day, I'm Mr. Faithful, will always be, right? But in her eyes, when I took us into that debt system, yeah. she said, Philip, and she's crying. She said, I feel like you committed adultery. Well, in reality, yeah. in reality, after we'd already uh, been out of debt, yeah. and for me to go into it, yeah. and I'm listening to this Word of Faith guy, yeah, not listening to my wife, <laughs> right? Right. And then come to find out, I would go visit this 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 guy's church and I, I got uh, to know uh, uh, really well one of his main guys that ran that ministry and he told me how they acquired everything supposedly when you saw it on television you thought it was all uh, uh, acquired debt free it wasn't it, it was debt free now but how they acquired he said we mortgaged everything Wow. All of us in here, we more, we took out mortgages on our house wow. and everything we could. And and this is the guy that I was listening to. Yeah. And I'm like, just because it was word of faith, I thought it was good. I'm young, you know, just come off the mission field. Yeah. Right? But here it is, 20, almost 30 years later. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And I hate mm -hmm. debt. Yeah. I hate it. Mm -hmm with a passion mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it's caused conflict, uh, not with me, but with minister, ministers that I'm acquainted with that are all caught up in that debt system. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, they, got, they have the whole thing, you know, uh, you know, a mortgage, which means death, yeah. The word mortgage means yeah. it's where we get the word morgue. Morgue, yeah. They say things like, yeah, but you have nothing to show for it. You know, you're renting or whatever. Uh, you have nothing to show for it. At least uh, we have a house. You don't have a house. No, it ain't there. It ain't your house. It's the bank. They can take it back anytime they want to, <laughs> redefine print. Mm -hmm. At least our money is going towards something and so on and so forth. They, see, that. That's the whole deception yeah. behind that Babylonian mm -hmm. borrowing yeah. uh, system mm -hmm. is that you're getting the most out of your money. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to pay three, four times what that house is worth? No. And it, well, my house is going up in value every, every year. You, it better. Right. Cause I was told it was wisdom. Oh, sure. To, get, to go in. Of course, I didn't know any different. 
you know, I, it, debt free wasn't made real to me yet, but I was told it was wisdom. Well, we know the word of God's wisdom. Maybe I sat around a big <laughs> conference table with pastors all around it. I'm the only one. And they are just blasting me. Wow. Uh, they said, so uh, you're renting. I said, for now. Yeah. You know, the Bible talks about rent to own. Yeah. Now, Paul was in that hired mm -hmm. house, mm -hmm. you know, that rented house. Yeah. And they said, well, uh, you need you need to buy and invest your money. I said, so you're against renting? They said, absolutely. I said, okay. That means uh, you can't get a hotel room. You have to buy the hotel. <laughs> That means you can't rent a car. You got you got you got to buy the car. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! And the Lord says, "Shut up! They ain't. They don't know. Yeah, they don't know." Mm -hmm. Well, here we are, years later. Yeah. Now and now, some of them are getting the Struggling. revelation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and that's good, but uh, deliverance. Yeah. You know, it says here, mm -hmm. through knowledge, shall the just. Just the righteous be delivered. Be delivered. Mm -hmm. So once you're born again, God has to get information to us yeah. that will cause what He's already done in us mm -hmm. to create the lifestyle that He wants out here. Mm -hmm. And how does He do that? Gained information, mm -hmm. knowledge, yeah. understanding, gain comprehension. Wisdom gained application. Mm -hmm. And that debt system, my goodness, me and Alberta, we went out and uh, one year, same as cash. So we're going to, you know, we claimed a house and uh, <laughs> we're going to put action to our faith and, and we get all the furniture. Furniture. <laughs> right? Yeah. I got a year. No problem with no that. No problem. We never got the house. And God had to get us out of that mess. <laughs> Brother. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it, you, it, it's so deceptive out mm -hmm. there. You it's know, a just, cycle once you get in it. You oh. know, it's, it's just a vicious cycle. Yeah. And, and look, look at the advertisements on television and magazines, on billboards. No you credit, know. bad credit. Doesn't matter. Come on in. Consolidate. <laughs> One easy payment. Yeah. They always put easy in there. And wasn't nothing, nothing easy about that $234.12. <laughs> One of my clients said that to me one day. She goes, yeah, I bought this purse on QVC. She said it was just four easy payments of $49.99. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything because, you know, God's helping me. But um, but I, rem I, I was like, okay, easy for who? Yeah. You know, they make it four easy payments. When we were finally, finally coming out, mm -hmm. Alberta wanted an Auric vacuum cleaner. And those were those were the expensive ones. Yeah. I said, babe, we're almost there. And you know, when she hears this, she's like, How in the world did I that's what I wanted was a vacuum cleaner. But mm -hmm. it's, it's true. And uh, I said, when we get out of debt, mm -hmm. I'm going to buy you an Oric vacuum cleaner. Well, that Oric vacuum cleaner has turned into a brand new car. <laughs> yeah. She can, she can, she got her own account, but she, she shops on my account. Sure. PayPal. She does. <laughs> she came to me a couple years ago and said, God told me you're supposed to pay for all this. Amen. I just shut up. And I never know each month how much you just spent, but it ain't it, it ain't a hundred dollars. <laughs> it ain't a thousand dollars. She but, knows she's righteous. Yeah. She well, the does. whole point being, if you're in debt, you can't do that. That's true. And 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 uh, God, there's no debt in our new creation. Man. No debt. Mm -hmm. All the sin has been paid, paid in full. Yeah. And when we take that paid in full on the inside mm -hmm. and start living it on the outside through our righteous new yeah. man, we start living paid in full. Yeah, you might have to accumulate. Yeah, you might have right. to 
uh, uh, walk some things out and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. Yeah. And, and yeah, it might not be a brand new car at first. It might be an upgrade. Yeah, it might not be, uh, you know, a brand new house. It might be a, just a instead of a one bedroom and it's now a three bedroom and right. two bath or whatever. Is yeah. it God? He 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 takes mm -hmm. us from faith to faith to faith. Mm -hmm. The that's how progression. Yeah, that's right. That's mm -hmm. right. First the blade, mm -hmm. then the ear, and then the full corn. Yes. In the ear. And our time has gotten away from us, Deb. Wow. It's been a wonderful Wednesday. Yes, it has. And uh, you know, if you're in debt, start living and attacking that debt from the inside out. You you inside here is debt free. So make up your mind, okay, that you, I'm delivered from you. Yeah. And, and then stop your crazy spending mm -hmm. and listen to God. He's the Lord our God that teaches us to profit and leads us in the way mm -hmm. where we should go. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube. 24 7 so you can watch from anywhere at any time search for power of faith on youtube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted If you missed the episode, or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.